Welcome to this presentation. We are going to discuss community engagements, May 2023 compulsory equation, and the following are today's objectives. So objective number one, or A, is define community health linkages, then B, state five levels of community health linkages, then C, state five importance of health linkages, then we have D1, which is 35 strategies of community health linkages. Then D2, explain the five types of public health interventions. So let's begin with objective number one, which is A. So A, we have the definition for community health linkages, and it can be defined as follows. So it can be defined as a formalized connection between a health facility, clinical sector, or a health care provider and the communities it serves to support improve its health outcome. Definition number two, community health linkages can be defined as connections between communities and clinical sectors to improve population's health. Let us now move on to objective number two, which is B. So B states, state of five levels of community health linkages and the following are some of the levels. So we have level one, networking. So under networking, we have exchanging information for mutual benefit. So the primary focus is on sharing information and it also involves minimal levels of time and trust. Level two, coordinating. So coordinating comprises of exchanging information and altering activities for formal or mutual benefit and also to achieve a common purpose. So the main primary focus is to increase accessibility to services and resources and it involves moderate levels of time and trust. Let us now look at level three, which is cooperating. So cooperating involves exchanging information, altering activities and sharing resources for mutual benefit and to achieve a common purpose. The primary focus is on existence of sharing uh, resources, skills, responsibilities, and rewards. So cooperating involves substantial levels of time, trust, and access to each other's resources. Level three, collaborating or collaboration. So this one comprises of exchanging information, altering activities, sharing resources, and enhancing each other's capacity for mutual benefit and to achieve a common purpose. So the main primary focus is on full sharing of resources, risks, responsibilities, and rewards. So collaborating involves significant levels of time, trust, access to each other's resources. The last level, which is merging. So under merging, we are saying it comprises of integrating information, activities, and resources to enhance each other's capacity for mutual benefit and to achieve a common purpose. So the main primary focus under Meijin is to focus on organizational re uh, reconstructing to achieve the full integral system and also operate as one entity. Let us now move on to objective number C. Okay, so C states, state five importance of health linkages. And the following are some of the importance. So we have number one, it helps to connect healthcare providers, community organizations, and public health agencies so that they can improve patients' access to health services and also medical care services. The other importance is that it helps to advocate for underserved individuals or communities to receive health services and resources to address health needs. The other importance is that it builds community capacity to address health issues. The other importance is that it helps to so it helps to educate health care providers and stakeholders about community health needs. The other importance is that it helps to provide a channel for negotiations between social services systems and also the community members as well as relevant stakeholders who are there to help provide with health resources in order to address the health needs or health concerns.
The last importance is that it helps to connect between vulnerable populations and healthcare providers. Let us now move on to objective number C, pardon me, D, which is our last one. So objective D states 35 strategies of community health linkages. So the following are the strategies. So we have strategy number one, learn about the community and the clinical sectors. Strategy number two, identify and engage key stakeholders from community and clinical sectors. Um, strategy number three, negotiate and agree on goals and objectives of the linkages. Strategy number four, know which operational structure to implement. Then strategy number five, aim to coordinate and manage a linkage. Then strategy number six, grow the linkage with sustainability in mind. Then strategy number seven, which is the last one, which is evaluate the linkage. Let us now move on to objective number D2. So D2 states explain the five types of public health interventions. So before we move on with the last question, I would just love to explain what the definition for intervention states. So interventions are basically actions that provide public health nurses and also the things or implementations that they put in in order to safeguard individuals, community members or systems in order to improve or protect their health status in a community. So now the examples include or the main implementations that are put up as public health nurses. So we have number one screening programs, we have vaccinations, food and water supply, then we also have health promotion. So we also have epidemiology and surveillance, outreach programs, that's another type of intervention, health education, and also social marketing. So this marks the end of today's presentation, and thank you so much for joining me. Have an amazing day.